Our opening hymn today is the canticle, The Sun. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the sun, the bringer of day, he carries the light of the Lord in his rays. The moon and the stars who light up the way come to your throne. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field. And sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. Praise for the wind that blows through the trees, the sea's mighty storms, the gentlest breeze. They blow where they will, they blow where they please, to please the Lord. The heavens are telling the glory of God. And all creation is shouting for joy. Come dance in the forest, come play in the field, and sing, sing to the glory of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you suffered and died on the cross for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you rose gloriously from the dead, giving us hope of eternal life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory in, with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnity of your Son's resurrection, so too we may be worthy to rejoice at his coming with all the saints. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Apostles. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, You Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed, to an unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth. And he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions so that people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from any of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, 
But now he demands that all people everywhere repent because he has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice through a man he has appointed. And he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about resurrection of the dead, some began to scoff, but others said, we should like to hear you on this some other time. And so Paul left them. But some did join him and became believers. Among them were Dionysius, a member of the court of the Areopagus, a woman named Damaris, and others with them. After this, he left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven, Heaven and, and earth, earth are full of your glory. Of your glory. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you his angels. Praise him, all you his hosts. Heaven, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Let the kings of the earth and all peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too and maidens, old men and boys, Heaven, Heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. Heaven, heaven and, and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Alleluia. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I will ask the Father and he will give you another paraclete to be with you always. Alleluia, Alleluia. Hallelujah. Father, may I have your blessing. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, as you may worthily and fittingly proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and deliver, declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from me what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise be to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. After being beaten with rods in Philippi and thrown into prison, uh, after the earthquake, Paul makes uh, converts of the jailer and his family. And then he moves on to Athens, kind of the center of learning in the ancient world and especially in Greece. Uh, Paul uh, obviously takes a tour of the town before he begins to preach there. And he noticed as he goes about many shrines and temples to various gods, and then he came upon a shrine named to or dedicated to the unknown God. And so Paul seizes upon that as an opportunity to preach about Jesus Christ. And he goes on to tell him that God is the one who created the whole universe and everything in it. He sent his son to be our savior and in him we have the hope and promise of eternal life. In the gospel today, Jesus tells us, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when the paraclete comes, the Holy Spirit, he will explain this to you, and then you'll understand. 
Uh, every year here at San Isidore's, we um, confirm um, our eighth graders. They receive the sacrament of confirmation. And many of them at that, at that age in their life, they're really not ready to understand. They, there's much more we can tell them, but they simply want to understand it now. But I, um, I haven't given up on them. I've learned to be patient over the years. When the Holy Spirit is ready to touch them at some point in their journey in life, uh, they will respond. Some respond quickly, some will respond already in the eighth grade. Others, it may take years, it may take a lot of hard knocks in life before they come to realize their need to draw closer to the, to the Lord. Some it may, it may take until really toward the end of their life. But I've learned to be patient. I, I often tell par parents too who are concerned about maybe their children who are now young adults or middle-aged adults who have turned away from the Lord, I tell them to be patient. God wants them to be in heaven with him more than anybody else do, more than their parents do. When he's ready to touch them, he will. And I've had to wait in some cases until people were 92 or 93, and shortly before their death that they finally realized they needed to turn to the Lord. And uh, when they did, they found great peace. And I'm sure when the Lord came to welcome them home, they were ready to meet him. So we need to be patient. Jesus promises to send the Holy Spirit, and Jesus fulfills his promise. He may not do it immediately when we want him to do it, but at some point in his life, he will. And the same is true with ourselves, too. We, we need to be open to the promise of the Holy Spirit, and then when he does try to touch us, we need to respond and react. So today, as we celebrate uh, this liturgy and reflect in these readings, let's ask the Lord Jesus uh, to help us to be patient with others, uh, our children, our grandchildren, um, so that when the Holy Spirit is ready to touch them, they will respond. And let's ask the Holy Spirit to help us, or ask Jesus to help us to be ready to respond in our own lives when the Holy Spirit tries to touch us, that we will be open to his message, listen to it, reflect upon it, and then respond to it. We need to always remember that God loves us in an infinite love he wants to share his eternal life with all of us. When he's ready to touch us, he will. The important thing is that we respond. With that in mind, let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, help us always to be open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit in our daily lives, so that when he does uh, call us, we will respond wholeheartedly and draw closer to you and to him. Grant us this, Lord, in the favors we ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop Lucas, and Bishop James Connolly, for whose pray we, recovery we pray, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who serve us in public office, our President, members of the Senate and House of Representatives, our Governor, our state and local legislators, that especially in time of crisis, they will strive to work together for what is best for our country. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families, especially those confined to their homes, that each member will show love and respect, patience and willingness to forgive one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, Carrie Ann Pinkerman, Keith Hangular, Julie Beller, and Joanne Stock, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our departed loved ones, especially Elaine Twork, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who mourn the loss of loved one, that their faith in Jesus will be a source of strength and peace for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our high school and college graduates, that they will be guided by the Holy Spirit in their choice of vocations in life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> For those who have turned away from the Lord through serious sin, that they may respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, receive the sacrament of reconciliation, and return to him, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That medical sciences, doctors, and nurses may be guided by the Holy Spirit in finding a way to stem the spread of the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our unspoken needs and intentions, 
Let us pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash me, Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, we may, you may make us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy, for you are the one God living and true existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with every blessing and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in the presence of countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, and gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them we, too con we, we confess your name in exultation, giving voice to every creature under the heavens as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and love. You have formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through this obedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who might seek you might find you. Time and time again you offered them covenants and through the prophets have taught them to look forward to salvation. And you still love the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior. Made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation 
prisoner's freedom, to the sorrowful of hard joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and by rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer as for ourselves, but for him who died and rose from the dead for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits of those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. And therefore, Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved those who were his own in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and giving the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death, his descent to the realm of the dead, and we proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await your coming in glory, we offer you as body and blood the acceptable sacrifice which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and this one chalice, that gathered into the one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. And therefore, Lord, we now remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those here present, and all your people who seek to serve you with a sincere heart. Remember also, Lord, those who have died in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. To us also, your ch children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ your Son, our Lord. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress 
as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. You stand peace. 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 Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go forth and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Our final hymn is Glory and Praise to Our God. Glory and praise, praise to, to our, our God. God who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. We, the daughters and sons of him who built the valley and plains, 
praise the wonders our God has done in every heart that sings. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. In his wisdom he strengthens us like gold that's tested in fire. Oh, the power of sin prevails, our God is there to save. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings he bears to those who trust in his ways. We now join regular programming on News Channel Nebraska.